Hi guys, today I'm going to try and show you how to make some handmade rivets and a little tool to make them domed headed rivets instead of just a flat top. Now buy these by the thousand. Um, if you've got a big job on it's worth it. And I've got uh, what, half inch, three eight and quarter here but I want a couple of five sixteenths between these two sizes. Um, it's not no point in me buying a thousand because I only want a couple so we're going to give it a go see if I can make some. So look around the workshop found a few bits of scrap to help me do this. First is a little bit of um, well, it's about two inch five sixteenth with a little drill hole in the top or just a dent, it's countersunk, just to put this ball bearing in. That's just there really to keep it in place and so you don't damage the anvil. Now this is a bit of stainless, I think it's a bit of stainless anyway, it came out of a padlock, big old padlock that broke. Um, but you could use anything, you could use a bit of chisel, anything that comes to hand. And then this bit of 2x1 flat scrap, I'm actually going to drill a hole through that and use that to make the rivet on. So, um, if you actually if you've got one of these, the snap head or rivet snap or whatever they call them, um, which is specially designed for it, you don't actually need to make one out of anything. So you can skip that part. But I've lost my big one, so we're going to get this bit hot and give it a go. See what we can do. All right, got it in the, the fire. I'm just going to use a smallish hammer today. Um, nothing too heavy. I don't want it bouncing about too much. Uh, and remember not to hit the anvil with the ball bearing because it might shatter. I'm just going to stick this on top of the ball. You see, even with a, with a keeping it steady, it still jumps out. I've got that a bit hot bit long so really I should have uh, cooled that out first so that just the end was hot which is what I'm going to do now so for the next heat I'm going to try and get the heat as short as possible if it, if it is a bit long and you've got to straighten it it doesn't matter but just try not to distort the bit you're working on Let's try again. It's a bit shorter. Give it a couple of good hits. Now that is very hot. But it's it's getting there. It's still a bit out of shape. I'll just straighten it up again. Quite important to keep this fairly straight and you can see it's starting to put a nice dome in there, not quite in the middle but pretty close. I'll give it another go. Not really sure, I haven't made one of these before so it's a bit hit and miss. Really sure how deep to make it. Um, as I say I lost my, what well, you see probably in the workshop somewhere but I just can't find it. I have a proper big snap head. Um, just can't lay my hand on it. Right. Here we go again. It's going in quite nicely. Open the bottom up. Obviously this stuff's pretty tough being a bit stainless, I, I think it's stainless, it's uh, pretty solid. And I think that'll probably do us. I'm not sure but I'm gonna, I think I'm going to call it a day at that. It's, it's just about there I reckon. I'm going to call that out. I don't think it'll harm it. And then the next job is to 
put this up in the drill press and drill an 8mm hole. Well, actually, it wants to be about 8.5 or 8.3, something like that, just so that when the, the bar's hot, it doesn't wedge up in the hole. And obviously, the metal expands when it's hot. So, here we go with a pilot hole, about 3 16 through there. I think I've said to you before that uh, I've got my drill set up quite slow for small drills and a little bit fast for big drills but to keep altering the speeds you've got to keep slackening off the motor and changing the belts and I can't be bothered so I've set it up somewhere in between so this is probably a bit slow for this small drill um, and then if you get a big so three quarter drilling, it's a bit fast, but I have got a two speed gearbox so I can halve it. But uh, you can go up to about 3 8 or something at this speed, it's not too bad. And then knock it down in the, the manual gearbox. So that's the pilot in. Move that through a bit because I think I've just drilled straight into the bed with that drill vice. Right, that's, I think this is about 8.4, 8.5, something like that. Not going the wrong way. Let's see how easy it is to put through once you put a pilot in. No point struggling trying to put this through straight away. Always use a pilot. Right. So, we've got a bar drilled. And this is the uh, rod I'm going to put through, a bit of 8 mil. I've chamfered the end so that when it's actually going down, hitting on the anvil, it doesn't rivet itself over at the bottom and uh, get wedged. So that's a reasonable loose fit, not too loose, but okay. So we're going to clamp this to the vise, work out how much of this we're going to cut off, and give it a go. Right, I've worked out I need about inch and 5 eight. No, inch and five sixteenth, beg your pardon. I've just heated it up, cooled off the bottom end. See so it's still a little bit tight. I'll give it a go. Now see I reckon that actually could have been a bit longer. Either that or the hole in the set a bit deeper. We'll look in slow motion. Amazing how much your hand moves when you see it in slow motion. Yeah, I definitely reckon yeah, something's not right. I think it's either it needs to be a bit bigger, longer bar, a bit longer, or the hole in there needs to be a little bit deeper in that snap head. But anyway, it's the first time I've done it. I haven't got time to mess about trying it again. So this is the result. Even making the hole big, it did get a little bit wedged, so I've had to pull it out with a pair of pliers, but it's a little bit off centre, but if you only want half a dozen or so for a, jo a quick job, or even just to get you out of trouble, I think it'll probably work. A bit of practice, half a dozen more, I'd say that's the first one. I think it'll do the job. Thanks for watching.